How did that look like an efficient breath? How do you know what efficient breathing is? That's what we're going to do today. We're going to break down the mechanics of breathing. Now, the first thing that we need to think of when we're breathing is, where do we breathe in through? Now, when we're doing rigorous exercise, we do need to breathe in through our mouth sometimes, but the majority of the time we're breathing in through our nose. And why do we breathe in through our nose? Because it is, the, the air is humidified, so it stops our lungs from drying and working more efficiently. And also, it stops bacteria and other things that we don't really want to enter our lungs from entering our lungs. So, try that now, just breathing in and out of your nose. It actually helps you to slow the breath down as well when you breathe in through the nose. The next thing that we need to think about is breathing into the belly. Now, we obviously can't breathe into our stomach or into the belly itself. What it really is is diaphragmatic breath. We're using our diaphragm. It's like a dome-shaped uh, muscle that works at the bottom of our ribs and it draws down as we inhale and it pulls up as we exhale. As we inhale, it draws down. As we exhale, it draws up. And a lot of the time, this is a very common dysfunction is that people breathe mainly into their chest. So what I want you to try now is just breathing down into your stomach. So really think about sending the breath through your nose down the windpipe and imagine you're sending all the way to the root of your spine. And you'll know that by your stomach rising. Have a quick look at this video of me doing diaphragmatic breath just into the stomach. Now give it a go yourself. Place one hand onto your stomach and you can have one hand on your chest. And with what we want to be able to do is become really, really intimate with our breath and know the different subtleties to the chest and the belly breathing, the, the diaphragmatic breath. So have one hand on the chest, one hand on the stomach, and I want you to just breathe into the stomach. Just breathe in into the stomach. Send the breath in through the nasal passage. Down into the belly and feel your stomach rise and your stomach fall. Like I just showed you there on that video. So there's your diaphragmatic breath or your belly breathing. Obviously, if you don't get it now, don't worry, this is maybe one of the first times that you've tried to experience this belly breath. The next thing is that we need to see how it feels to breathe into our chest. Now, we've got little muscles in between our ribs called intercostal muscles. And basically, we, when we breathe into our chest, we use these muscles to try and expand the chest to use as much of the lungs as we can. When we're doing rigorous exercise, these muscles are used a lot more. And also, without really knowing about it, you use certain neck muscles. So you, if you breathe into the chest a lot, a lot of the time you start to get really tight up through the shoulders as well at the same time. So try and feel the difference between the two. Have one hand on your stomach, one hand on your chest. Before we do that, have a look at me breathing into the chest only. Alright, now give yourself a go of just breathing in the chest. This might feel more natural to you because you're maybe used to doing this. So keep the stomach still. That's why we've got our hand there, a little bit of kinesthetic feedback. And then have your other hand on your chest. So just breathe in the chest. So 
So there you go. You've got the belly breathing, you've got the chest breathing. Now what we want to try and do is still become even more intimate with the breath. We want to try and breathe into the stomach, separate it from the chest, and then we need to try and breathe into the chest, separate it from the stomach. And then we'll bring them together a little bit further down the line. So, let's do this together. You can keep your eyes open for this because you've got a little, little bit of a task um, today where you're doing this breathing by yourself. So you can close your eyes and you can really get into the breath and into the feel of where the breath is going into your body. So, let's do five breaths into the stomach. Okay, inhale. Feel the stomach rise, exhale. Let the stomach fall away. Four more inhale. Slowly release. Notice that my chest isn't moving. Inhale. Exhale. See if your chest is moving. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Okay, just go into a normal rhythm of your breath. Don't think about it at this moment in time and then we'll move to five breaths into the chest only. Keeping the belly still. So inhale then to the chest. Feel the chest rise, exhale. That's one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Two more there. Expand that chest. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. So how did that feel for you? Did the chest breathing feel easier than the stomach breathing? Was there any difference in terms of the feel of it? Or how much air that you could get into your lungs by breathing into different parts of the body? Now, if it felt really weird breathing down and using the diaphragm and this, and this belly breathing, then that doesn't mean that it's wrong. It just means that your pattern is probably to breathe into your chest. So, even though it feels really unnatural at this moment in time, I urge you to try and create this new productive habit of breathing into the stomach, or breathing into the belly, or diaphragmatic breath. The last thing that we're gonna go through in regards to the mechanics of the breath before we put all of this together is regulating the breath into your lungs. Now, when you're taking an inhale, maybe you, when you're trying to consciously breathe, you're taking a sharp inhale, so when I'm saying inhale and exhale, maybe you're feeling like you're holding your breath at certain points during that. So it's important to lengthen the breath, and how do we do this? A really cool way of doing it is this yogic breathing technique called Ujjayi breath. And basically, with Ujjayi breath is that you create a slight restriction at the back of your throat. And this just allows you to slow down the breath, and rather than taking these sharp inhales, I'm trying to breathe in a lot at one time. And the Ujjayi breath works by you. Imagine you're trying to fog up a mirror. So take your hand there and just go like this. You're creating a slight restriction at the back of your throat, which allows you to release as much air as you like at a slow rate. But I want you to try and do that same restriction whilst bringing your breath in through the nose. Obviously I'm showing you through fog and a mirror through your mouth, but we're breathing in through our, through our nose. Just have a go at that now. And I'll try and make it audible to you so you can hear what it sounds like. So that is the Ujjayi breath. That's me creating this restriction at the back of my throat to allow me to regulate the breath, make it a longer inhale and a longer exhale. And you'll probably feel yourself 
take this more of a relaxed state in regards to the body and the breath will feel more balanced as well at the same time. What you should be able to hear is that sound that I did, but not as exaggerated as that. You should be able to hear, hear the breath within your own body, but not outside of the body itself. What we're going to try and do now is we're going to try and marry all of this together. So the main points that I want you to think about are breathing in and out through the nose, creating this slight restriction at the back of the throat to allow you to regulate the breath coming in and out of the lungs. But now we're going to try and breathe into the stomach and also the chest. But what I want you to think about when you're doing this breath is more so trying to bring it down into the bottom of the lungs using that diaphragm. So you're breathing into the stomach. And then if you can allow it to happen, you can breathe into your chest as well. A little bit like this. Okay, let's do this together. Take one hand on your stomach, one hand on your chest. Close your mouth there. Relax the shoulders. And I want you to take an in inhale down into the stomach. Into the chest. And then release both out through the nose. Inhale to stomach. Inhale to chest. Slowly release the breath through the nose. Two, don't inhale to stomach. Inhale to chest. Slowly release through the nose. Inhale to stomach. Inhale to chest. Slowly release the breath through the nose. One more. Inhale. Slowly exhale. How do you feel after that? Do you feel more relaxed? Do you feel like you're really overthinking the breath in general? Does it feel very unnatural? All these things are very, very common when you're starting to reconnect with the breath and understand true breathing mechanics. So don't worry at this point, but I want you to try and think about this during the day to day. Breathing into the stomach using the diaphragm and also breathing in and out of the nose rather than the mouth. 